Stop the killing. So, now. so what are you writing about? I'm writing about stopping the killing, stopping the violence. But you like to stop violence? By standing up and saying something. So you're not afraid about everything about what happened to all the brave black people who stood up and talked? Yeah, bro, like you told the truth. If you had to change the world, how to change the world, what would you do? Stop world hunger and, st and make more better houses. So, what would you? Yeah, right. What about charity? What would you do for charity? Charity. He won't give anything. I will sell my blood. I will give my blood away for free. You can get it. If you would sell your blood, because you can only regenerate blood. Good point, but. Uh, next question. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor, a surgeon, a leg, a heart surgeon, and a leg, and a back surgeon. Why mm. well, do you want to be a surgeon? To save people's lives and make their lives a better future for them. Is anyone in your family a doctor? No. 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 Why do you want to be a doctor? Did somebody, did, was you influenced by somebody? No, I just wanted to think about it. I just wanted to just do it for myself instead of waiting on something. What about world hunger? How you think you will stop that? By going to the nation, planting more crops, and planting more crops, getting more animals, more meat, and more protein, and more milk to save their lives and we'll make more better houses so they can survive. Yeah, I got a question about that house thing though. Wouldn't they have to pay for the house? No, it'll be free. Yes, but when they, uh, in rough future, and votes just like, because the money, most of the money in all states will have to go to tax. Well, I would say, uh, well, I had to say I get on 85% off. Hmm. And they can pay, and they can pay like $400. What do you like about the park? The park, I love the sailboating and fishing, that's all. What do you like about fishing and sailboating? It makes you feel alive. Hmm. It smells so, so good and beautiful. Do you fish with family members? Sometimes I do it like in Lake Michigan. Have you ever had any incident in fishing? No. Oh yeah, I almost fell off in the lagoon. Thank you. So what you want to be when you grow up? Me? I think about being an animator. Huh? An animator. Animator? What's that? It's when you like break cartoon shows or video games. Make cartoons come to life. What influenced you to become an animator? All the great drawings because drawing is mainly my life and then my friend Mateo he has said he showed me the artist stick me in so I'm starting off with stick me and then I grow on to actual drawings. What do you like about the park? Uh, the park is really nice. I make a lot of friends, decent lunches and snacks. Uh, the rec leaders are good. Like sailboating and fishing, all the activities. What do you do on weekends? On weekends, the hmm, usual. Uh, I go to a friend's house. Sometimes just chill out and relax. Skateboard. Uh, cook a little bit. What do you cook? Uh, pizza, chicken, cow wings, pizza rolls. Hmm, I'm trying to work on a cake. I think it's pretty, pretty sad and what happened to Haiti. It it's like America's Wait. neighbor and we should have tried. If we expected here, this, we would have just had all the people in Haiti removed from there. Just like what happened in Japan. So uh, if we had some way to prevent all these earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, and we would have had a way to prevent them. Even thoughts, uh, I'll be one of the volunteers to help. Now, this sounds a little weird, but something is wrong with George W. Bush because 9-11 happened. He wanted to go to war with the wrong country. This is why all the peace, the peace is thrown away in the trash. So if I was president, 
I would probably tell him to go, not to go to war with the wrong country. <laughs> Wish I could maybe help people in Haiti, feed the food, give them shelter, protection, maybe. And no more nuclear bombs. It goes for you too, Stewie. That's it. So what you writing about? I'm writing about my life. Can you say it? I'm not finished yet. What type of ideas you're talking about? Playing the drums is pretty serious. How long have you been playing the drums? Since I was two. How long? Two. Lucky. Yeah. Any other instruments you play? Yeah, no. You good at it? Yeah. How long you been playing it? Six. Since I was six years old. Your family very musical. Yeah, my brother, he played the drums too. Uh, then my brother, my other brother, he played the, the organ. And my god brother, he played the piano. What do you like about the park? Well, we go swimming, fishing. Anything else? The lunches? The I do not like their chokes. What about the activities? The vending machines? Yeah, I like their pops. You know, I don't gotta go nowhere else. I can come here. Are you hesitating about the animal gym show? Yeah, I ain't never did it. Then. Think you'll do good? Yeah. Thank you. So what do it have to be that close? So what are you? So what are you writing about? Um. Well, I'm writing a lot of different stuff. But mostly I'm writing about how, like most people, they waste their time in school and wasting their time doing unnecessary stuff when if they just go and do what they have to do, then it would be easier on them and helping their future. So, so you think school is important to you? Yes. Well... I mean, I guess it's been put in me that way because my mom and my dad or no one in my family from the older generation went to college or even finished high school. So I guess they want us and my other cousins and my sister to do that. They want us to have better than they have right now. So what would happen if you were homeschooled? It wasn't be all that great because being in being at a, a regular school helps you with your social skills and you can learn more from a teacher who went to school and got this education just to teach you. That would be better for her to teach me the right way than to learn the wrong way. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a political journalist. My goal is to meet Barack Obama. A political journalist is someone who like writes in magazines that has to do with politics. Like they'll write about Mayor Daly or write about Barack Obama or um, Jesse White and things like that. Like you're writing about or like telling about, saying like what's happened lately with our country, with the city, with the district and things like that. Once you meet Barack Obama, what would you like to accomplish? Well, I really just want to interview him because it's a lot of questions that I have to ask for someone of like of that that has been through what he's been through because it just it fascinates me to hear other people's stories like it means a lot that he had a rougher story than I do I have a house and cable and internet and a phone and all of that and he didn't grow up with all of that and I just wanted to I want to ask him some questions that has to do with like what he had when he grew up and what he wants to have and what he gives to his kids and things like that. What would you change if you had the power? Well, I would change the, pol the political um, races in Chicago is that it seems like everything is separated. Like no one wants to be together. Like a certain race is taking over. And I think that if they really don't want them to take over, do something about that. Like, I would change the fact that if people want to do something, they should just do it their own selves. Like, making, like, just complaining about the, something doesn't solve any problem that you have at all.